Hi, my name is Michael Kornfeld. I am the corresponding author for the paper that you're about to read entitled Review of External Ocular Compression Clinical Applications of the Ocular Pressure Estimator. My collaborator David Duker and I uh, invented a device called the Ocular Pressure Estimator which is uh, a small fluid filled bladder that's connected seamlessly to a pressure transducer so that when this small bladder is placed upon a closed eye and pressure is applied to the outer wall of the bladder, then the pressure inside the bladder becomes equal to the pressure inside the eye so that you can measure the, or you can estimate the intraocular pressure during times when the eye is closed and the eye is compressed externally. There's currently no devices that are able to do this. And in order to validate the machine, we, in our first paper, compared the output of the ocular pressure estimator to cannulated eyes that were manometrically measured for intraocular pressure, one being a human cadaver eye and one being an in vivo pig eye. And the measurements that were obtained with the ocular pressure estimator for a range of pressures from a beam between 10 and 100 uh, was within 5% of a cannulated eye. So after validating this device, we then sought to apply it to clinical circumstances when external ocular compression actually uh, is meaningful. And there are several instances when this occurs, but the two that we studied for the paper that you will read, one of them is what happens to the intraocular pressure when your eye is compressed during uh, positions that you would take during sleep, and one was what happens when the eye pressure uh, is affected by external compression by glaucoma surgeons who do the digital ocular massage. So in this paper you will learn that the intraocular pressure experienced by people when they put their eye uh, onto a pillow is actually uh, surprisingly high while the eye is in certain positions and then it's relieved when the person assumes a different uh, position. Uh, we also looked at long-term data for patients who had a cup to disc ratio asymmetry who also stated that they had a preference for sleeping in one side versus the other to see if there was a correlation and there was a very strong correlation. And then we used the ocular pressure estimator to determine what the intraocular pressure is during the digital ocular massage maneuver. And again, it was found to be surprisingly high. And then we used the ocular pressure estimator to teach glaucoma surgeons to reproduce a certain intraocular pressure that we arbitrarily uh, assigned uh, of 90 millimeters of mercury, which was achieved by all the glaucoma surgeons who, who did the, the testing initially. And using the ocular pressure estimator, we were able to cause the variability in the measurements to become much smaller. So the ocular pressure estimator has been effective at assessing intraocular pressure when no other device is able to do it. And we uh, would like to call attention to the scientific community of the importance of the uh, occult elevations in intraocular pressure that are induced during external ocular compression, during very common activities that all people will have, like sleeping. Enjoy the paper. Thank you very much.